The Umbrella Man, Part 4 He went in that door. It was a pub. The room we were looking into was full of people and cigarette smoke, and our little man was in the middle of it all, without his hat and coat, and moving towards the bar. When he reached it, he spoke to the barman. The barman gave him a drink. The little man gave him a pound. The barman didn't give him any change. The little man drank it in one go. That's a very expensive drink, I said. He was smiling now. He went to where his hat and coat were. He put on his hat, he put on his coat. Then, very quickly, he took from the rack one of the many wet umbrellas and left. Did you see that? my mother shouted. Shh, I whispered. He's coming out. He didn't see us. He opened his new umbrella and went down the road. We followed him back to the main street where we met him first and we watched as he exchanged his new umbrella for another pound. This time it was with a tall, thin man who didn't even have a hat or a coat. When it was over, he went off again, this time in the opposite direction. He never goes in the same pub twice, my mother said. I expect he's always hoping for rainy days. <laughs>